if y'all can hear little birds chirpity chirping, it's because my window is open because it is hot as balls in my room and I'm not closing it for you. I'm sorry, not sorry. Here we go. My door just like opened and closed by itself and that was the scariest shit that ever happened to me. Oh, my house is haunted. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and today I'm here with a review for a book I recently read. This book is completely out of my comfort zone. It's not something I would usually pick up because it's a fantasy novel and your girl is more of a thriller, suspense, contemporary, young adult kind of chick. My mom ended up picking my TBR this month and so this was one of the books that she ended up picking but I ended up really really enjoying it so I thought that I would make a review of my full thoughts on the book so without further ado let us get started. <sighs> the book is The Last Name is Ara and this is by Kristen Siccarelli and it follows Asha who is deemed the Iskari who is the bringer of death. She was corrupted eight years ago by speaking the forbidden stories of the old one to a dragon named Kozu who ended up burning down her entire city. So Asha has made it her mission to hunt down all the dragons in the world and slay them by cutting off their heads and bringing them to her father, the Dragon King. In a few days time, she is to be married to Jarek, who is her father's very cruel commandant of his army. And in order to stop the wedding, she turns to her cousin Sapphire, as well as Jarek's slave. By bringing her father Kozu's head, it will stop the forbidden stories once and for all and end the marriage that she doesn't want to be a part of. So as I said, I did not expect to like this book as much as I did. It's a fantasy novel and I am not a fantasy novel reader, so I was a little bit skeptical picking it up, but I am definitely very, very happy that I did. I ended up giving it a 5 out of 5 stars, if you couldn't tell by me saying I'm obsessed with it. This is the author's debut novel. Also would like to point out that she's Canadian, so represent girl. It definitely does not feel like a debut novel at all. I was hooked right from the first line of the book. I instantly wanted to know more about the Nemsara and the Iskari and their backstory and I thought that the plot was so intriguing. The dragons were definitely my favorite part of the story. Usually I find with dragons in stories they're kind of just thrown in as a plot point but it didn't feel like that with these dragons they all had a personality they were very key parts of the story I thought it was really cool how by telling the old stories that was what gave the dragons the ability to breathe fire I thought that was like super interesting because in my head dragons just breathe fire because they breathe fire you know I also thought that the inclusion of the old stories as like chapter breaks were really interesting and how they tied into the main story it was kind of interesting because you would be having these plot points in the main story and then it would somehow tie into the old stories that Asha told to these dragons and it just made the whole book come together in my opinion. Asha is such a badass main character. I loved her so much. She was so stubborn and just knew what she wanted. I really liked how much she grew and came into herself as the story progressed. I also love the relationship between Sapphire and Asha and how much they cared for each other and looked out for each other even though the entire kingdom was against Sapphire and Asha saying that they were bad because of the circumstances they were born into. The amount of hate I felt towards Jarek was probably disproportionate to how much I should have felt towards him but he is the worst character. I hate him. He is a terrible human being but I love him at the same time because he is such a terrible human being if that makes any sense. Corin Jarek Slave is probably one of my favorite parts of the book as well. A lot of people said that he was very one-dimensional but in my opinion I found him so intriguing and he was just such a sweet baby angel unicorn. I wanted to protect him at all costs. I'm a total sucker for forbidden love as well, so the story just it hit me deep, man. I loved it. I definitely wish there was more Sapphire and Dax, who is Asha's older brother. I wanted to know more about them, and I was kind of upset that they weren't in the book very often, but there is a second book coming out in 2019 which focuses on Dax so your girl is very excited about it. Overall the book was super fast paced. It was very intriguing right from the very beginning. I was instantly hooked and 
I love the characters, I love the whole story, and I highly, highly recommend picking it up. I will definitely be picking up more of her work when it comes out. I'm very excited about it, but as I said, 5 out of 5, definitely recommend y'all pick this up if you haven't read it already because it is so good. Alright guys, so that was my review of The Last Name of Sara by Kristen Sticorelli. Uh, let me know down below if you guys have read this book and what you thought of it and if you loved it as much as I did or if you hated it. I mean, it's up to you what you feel. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!